you went through it for a reason because it's your season and something that i always tell you guys you know when you are slated to achieve great things up in your life you have to know that to whom much is given is much expected in return so there's going to be times where you're going to go up against people who don't want it for you you're going to encounter people who try to sabotage and hold it off and block it off for you but when I tell you that all roads lead back to God and what it is that he wants for your life, he's showing people in more ways than one that with the power that he's exerting, with how he's putting your enemies in their place and how he's setting and putting you and placing you in position that no matter what it is that go up against you, you're always going to be in a position to what? To succeed. So with that being said, you have to take everything that you're going through, everything that you have gone through, every word that was spoken against you, okay? every spell that was served to block you to hinder you to delay you to stop you in some kind of way shape or form you have to take every person that hurt you abused you ridiculed you bullied you lied on you deceived you betrayed you you have to take everything that you've gone through on the job with your children with your finances you're taking all of this and you're learning from it you're healing from it and you're saying, you know what? No matter what it is that I've gone through and what it is that people want for me, it does not matter because it's what I want for my life and what God has in store for me. So no matter what, I'm going to reach my destination despite what the enemy wanted for me or what enemies wanted for me. They couldn't stop you. They couldn't defeat you. They can't beat you. And they for sure not going to be able to join you. So when I tell you that the only way that you can lose is if you give up. The only way that you can lose is if you quit. And that's why all these people felt like if they came all together and hit you all at once, that they would be able to get you to give up and to quit. If someone has to go at you that hard, you have to understand that it's a reason behind why they're doing what they're doing. Your season is coming up. Your blessings are not being are, are, are being unleashed into your life. OK, your destiny can't be blocked. It can't be stopped. It can't be swapped. OK, I'm going to say it again. Your destiny can't be blocked. It can't be stopped. It can't be swapped. I'm going to say it again. Your destiny can't be blocked. It can't be swapped. It can't be stopped. I'm going to say it again till y'all start saying it with me. My destiny can't be blocked. It can't be stopped. It can't be swapped. Say it again. My destiny can't be blocked. It can't be swapped and it can't be stopped. But I'm going to tell you what it is going to stop. The ignorance is going to stop. The bullying ain't going to stop. The foolishness is going to stop. The evil going to stop. The envy and the jealousy going to come to a complete halt. The plans against your life are going to fall through. The graves and the holes that people dug for you, they finna fall up in it. Not you. People who wanted you to give up. Wanted you to feel defeated. Wanted you to feel burdened. That's what's finna happen to them. People who wanted you homeless, wanted you broke, wanted you held back so they could sit back and watch it. That's what's finna happen to them. But I'm gonna tell you something. You ain't gonna want to be in a position to sit up here and watch somebody be defeated like that. Because you too good of a person, you too pure of a soul. But that's what they wanted for you. And whether you want it or not, God finna have these people center stage just so you can watch it. Because that's justice. You don't sit up here and come for somebody's life in the minute that these people came against yours and think that life finna be sweet for you and think that you finna be in a position when someone didn't come for you, when someone wasn't being mean to you, wasn't even focusing on you. And if they was, it wasn't in a manner to sit up here and make you be, be burdened and make you feel defeated. But that's what they wanted for you. Now they plans falling through. Now they don't know what to do because you know too much. And you still are here living in your right mind, in a position to continue to move forward and rebuild your life. They trying to keep their composure. They trying to keep it all together. But people know what's up and they know what it is and they know what it ain't. And it's clear and evident, clear and evident that coming up against you was the wrong move. So when i tell you what i tell you it ain't to sit up here and give you false hope it's to let you know man y'all know in 2023 y'all was targeted you know someone wanted you gain stop wanted you rape wanted you sex traffic it sat up here and drug and, and drugged you raped you probably got surveillance on you worked with other people to fraud you 
You understand what I'm saying? Work with your family to come up against you. Family told them to do it. Or they worked with family against you. Had to get the help of your family. So family were Judas's to you. These exes, baby fathers, was Judas's to you. These cousins, these aunts, these uncles, Judas's to you. These ex-friends, these ex-colleagues, Judas's. They're strangers that you didn't even know was Judas's. You didn't even know was around you in your vicinity, but God spared you because favor ain't fair. What they wanted for you can't happen to someone like you. It was never meant to happen to someone like you. You're too special. You're too pure. You're too protected. And you're too favored and blessed for people to want this level and amount of evil to be served to you. Hmm. Favor ain't fair. But nah. Your destiny can't be blocked, stopped, or swapped. It is what it is. It is what it is. You found your way back to God. You'll never understand why you go through the things you go through that the devil will try to squeeze everything. You ever heard that trying to squeeze blood out of a turnip? It's nothing left that people could take from you. It was nothing else that people could do to hurt you. It was no one else around you that people could get to go up against you. And if they did, you were soldier. You was dealing with it. You was overcoming it. You was enduring it. It was nothing else. No more blood left to squeeze up out of you. You understand what I'm saying? For people to keep coming up against you and wanting the outcome they wanted for you. Because when they did everything that they could and took their best shot, God breathed life back up into you. He gave you and replenished and restored everything up in your life that the enemy thought that they had blocked, stopped, and swapped. Huh? So, it's like, to no avail to these people, nothing they'll be able to do is going to stop you. But God tricked them because he wanted to see how far you was going to take this. And I want you to understand, and I need you to hear, and I need you to truly believe this here. Understand everything was documented. Everything your mother did, everything your father did, everything that they worked with with a baby daddy, with a everything they did with your baby mother, everything they did with your aunt, with your cousin, with your uncle, with your ex, with these people that you work with, friends, people up in your community, people up in your neighborhood. You have to understand that it was documented. And so these people were sitting up here watching, thinking that they had sucked and stopped and blocked and, sh and swapped everything that they could out of your life. And they thought for sure this time, you ain't going to have the strength to keep coming up against us, but they ain't going to have the strength to keep coming up against God. Who the hell they thought they were? They thought they was bigger and more powerful than God, than the almighty, than the all knowing. You don't have time for these people delusion of grandeur. You know who you are, what you are, and where the hell you going. So why would you give up on that? You know that every phase and every cycle and every person that you counter is a temporary delay, not a permanent ending. It's a temporary delay. So when I tell you that God set these people up for failure and you found your way back to him to not give up, to hold on to his unchanging hand, to believe in his word, to believe in everything that he had for you, to believe that everything and every good energy, the person that you've been to people, everything that you've put out into the world, you have to know that there's a higher power and higher being and source that's involved. That's going to make sure that you get all that back and that it's ran back to you tenfold. You have to understand that. And these people are going to be in a position to see that everything that they did against you didn't serve, benefit, or elevate, or promote them in any way, shape, form, or fashion. In fact, what they've done, because it was documented, that list, just go down the list. That's everything that's going to happen to these people. You found your way back to him. As hard as it was. You said it could have been worse. So... If I still got life, I still got my babies and I still got a roof over my head. I'm still living. I'm still pushing. I still got stability in my life. You're not going to let the evilness in this world stop you and cripple you. To where you don't keep moving forward and doing for God what it is that he asks of you. Because you know that with him, it's a promise. You know with him, it will be given back to you tenfold. With him, it's a promise. That good thing is going to come in your life. With him, it's a promise. 
that the, the sun gonna shine over your life again. With him, it's a pro, it's a promise that these people finna be in regret when he take you where it is that he about to take you. See, I tell you, he gave you a little bit, a little taste of what it is that's in store for you. And these people bit the bait. They fell into the trap and trying to de destroy it and take it and block it from you. He saw their heart is what I'm trying to tell y'all, kings and queens. He saw their heart. He, he placed you in a position to see what these people would do so he could search their heart so he could see what action they would take. And they all went up against you. No one wanted you to be successful. Everyone wanted you to fail. And they all felt like you deserved that. In some type of way, people was trying to um, act out some kind of revenge against you. And you didn't do nothing to these people but not want to deal with them. You walked away from them. You blocked communication off from them. And they know that they deserve it. Because they know that they two-facing and they faking they phony. Who the hell finna keep faking phonies up in their life when, when we know that y'all don't want the best for us? When we know that you sitting up here and been pining and going up against us for years. Talking mess about us, against us, over us, behind our back for years. Ain't nobody finna keep no fakes and phonies up in their life. So it's like these people did things to you and caught amnesia as to what it is that, that, that they did to you. Out here telling people what you did to them. What do you do to people, but show people better than you can tell them? If you're not going to respect me and meet me halfway and, and, and reciprocate what it is that I'm giving you, I don't have to deal with you. I could do anything that I want to do. I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown man out here. If I pay my own bills, if I get up every day in my own bed, I put food in my stomach. I'm taking a shower in my house. The food I put on the table is for my kids. The clothes that I buy, the money I'm paying for is coming out of my bank account. Who are these people to sit up here and say that, oh, you deserve to, 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 to take us where you're going and you deserve, we deserve for, for us to know everything it is you're doing and we deserve to, to experience the kind of money that you're about to step in and live the house you're living in and know everything about your life so we can stop it and we can block it. Or we could be like you or sit up here and tell lies on you and get people to see you in a certain light that's not your own. These people are of the dark, they're of the dark, and there's no way around it. Because there's no way to explain the inexplicable things that people did to you that was heinous, that was gruesome, that was barbaric. It's, it's, it's no way to explain why people won't let you go, why they won't move on, why they just won't stop. But since they don't want to use the good sense that they got, that God has given them, he's going to put them in a position to use it. Because coming up against you, it's not going to keep happening. Every time that people go up against you, you find your way to God. You don't find your way to the bottle. You don't find your way to the club. You don't find your way to be on some kind of narcotic. You don't you don't find your way to some kind of revenge. You don't find your way to 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 sit up here and spiritually and bind someone. You don't you don't you don't find your way You don't find your way to do evil to people when they serve it to you. And that's why you're about to be blessed. And that's why I'm telling you keep finding your way to God. Keep showing people up. Keep proving them wrong. Keep moving forward. People knew where you was going to go. And they thought that they were more powerful, that they were more evil, that, it, that they were more diabolical than God. Let me tell you something. Everything that God allowed up in your life was to sit up here and expose these people who didn't want the best for your life. Because people about to see how jaded everyone was that had their hands involved and in coming for somebody that didn't send for them. They don't have no explanation for it. That's why it needed to be kept under wraps so no one would have to explain i feel they were warned i feel that it was even warned by people up in their group that they worked with to go up against you no one wanted to stop no one wanted to listen they just wanted what they wanted you don't understand how i tell you that that jealousy and the evil can drive you to do some things when you see how blessed someone is but favor ain't fair it does not mean that you being blessed, that these people were evil because they weren't blessed in their life. But let me tell you something. You had your own share of misery or pain that you went through. You wasn't sitting up here wanting that for someone else because that's what was your life. You know what I'm saying? You just said whatever's meant for me going to be for me. Evidently, these people ain't in their right mind. Evidently, these people don't never like their life. They, they didn't like the life they was given. So maybe they need to be stripped away from them. 
I mean, I don't know what these people finna be served, but I'm gonna tell you something. What ain't finna keep being served to you is treachery, is delays, is blockages, evil, abuse. It's not finna keep being served to you. So keep finding your way to God. I commend you for overcoming and being a soldier and being where you are today. You may not understand what you went through, but when you come out of it and when you did come out of it or as you're in the process of coming out of it, you're going to you're going to understand why you went through it. And you're going to understand it was never meant to defeat you and keep you drained and keep you blocked off and held off forever. It was um, an illusion that people wanted to be surrounded around you, what they wanted to be your life, thinking that that was going to help you make you give up. You you too you're too different. You think different. You move different to allow every little thing and every little person and what they do and what they don't do to make you give up on your life. You know what you're supposed to be doing. As long as you keep doing it, you got to know that God is going to lead you to the promised land and lead you to all the blessings that are in store for you. As you know that this was the journey that he placed you on. So find your way to God. Find your way on your healing journey. Find your way in life. And never let nobody sit up here and tell you what you are, what you're not, what you deserve, what you don't. I don't care if you got to cut everybody off and go about this alone. Sometimes that's what is the best route because the people that you got around you are toxic, not giving you the right advice, not giving you good sound advice. It's clearly the advice that they're giving you. It's not placing you in a position to succeed, but placing you in a position to receive bad karma. Keep putting you in a position to be delayed, to be blocked off, to be burdened. It's time to focus on you. It's time to water the plants in your garden for once in your life. And you're about to be in a position to do just that with where God is about to take you for everything that you've endured and how you handled it. I'm going to tell you something. You ain't no punk. You ain't weak. You ain't no sellout because you choose to walk the hell away and block people and move forward up in your life. That's what they thought. What you is, is smart. Who you are, a boss. Real boss don't do no talking. We just do the walking and we make business money moves. You feel me what I'm saying? We move in silence. That's the real flex actually having something to show for it actually building and working towards that and everybody and their mama and their daddy don't know about it until they just catch you driving in that car until they just happen to see you walk out your house to get the paper in the mail from your mailbox they just happen to see you out and about at your events at your business that's the real flex Knowing how blessed you about to be when people wanted you out here burdened and you chose not to make it make you bitter, but you chose to alchemize it, that energy to transform it, to transmute it. And you chose to make it make you better. And my God, how I was about to make you better because this ain't a damn thing that people gonna be able to serve your way in the next season, in the next cycle, in the next level. That, 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 that is going to throw you off your, your, your square and knock you up off your journey. Do you understand what I'm saying? They, don't, they tried everything. What more could they do? This is why I'm telling you, they going to burn out before you do because God has his hand of favor ain't fair. That means it don't matter what's done to you spiritually, emotionally, physically. When God is giving you the energy, when God is, is, is placing certain angels and messengers in your life, when he's, he's giving you the strength, the signs, the energy, the people, the resources, the support that you need. You got to know this on a whole nother level. Just like this evil that you endured and that you was going through and that was thrown at you was on a whole nother level. The average Joe can't go through what you go through and, and walk a mile in your shoes. So I don't know who these people are and who they think they are. But I'm telling you, they finna be sitting somewhere bitter and miserable without a clue, clueless as to what else can they do up in your life to stop you from stepping into what it is that God has for you because they've tried everything and yet you're still here. I'm sorry it took years of your life for you to get to this point. 
I'm sorry everything that you had to lose, everything that didn't go your way, people who walked away from you, but you got to understand, count it all joy. It's, it's happening, you know what I'm saying? It ain't happening to you, it's happening for you. If you had to go through all this amount of hell and evil that the average joint got to go through and people able to live their lives and step into the, you got what I told you, to each his own, God gives his toughest battles to his strongest warriors. And he gives the biggest re rewards to these soldiers when they're able to learn the lessons and overcome what they need to overcome and move forward how they need to move forward. Your blessing is about to be on a whole nother level because your favor and your anointing is on a whole nother level. Your spirituality is on a whole nother level. You feel what I'm saying? That's why this evil was on a whole nother level. So keep your head held up high. Never let nobody see you sweat. You already know I come with that real, never that fate. I keep it 100 with you. I keep it a buck with you. So they tried. Devil took his best shot. And what it did was it transformed into a minor bruise, an injury that, that, that unfolded into your life. But to, to the devil, he uh, I took my biggest shot. I sent my best agents. I did so much spell work. I had several different witches and warlocks on your case. Minor bruise, minor injury. So if you still here, what you think that means? If you still living your life, blessings still flowing in for you. What, 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 you, what you think that means? Come on now. Common sense ain't coming to a whole lot of folk, but let it be coming to you. What you think that means? Why you think they came at you so hard? The devil use anybody to get to you. I don't care if it got to be your dad, your mama, a lover, an ex-friend. He will use antibody to get to you, to stop you, because he don't want you out here doing what he see you doing, what he see God blessing you to do and have. I ain't the devil. You keep talking about devil. You keep talking about an enemy. What is that? Well, if, if, if these people weren't devilish and they weren't evil, then why the hell did they sit up here and want the absolute worst for you? What did you do to... I'm, I'm, help me understand. I'm smarter than a fifth grader, Okay. But when, but when the math ain't mapping, the math just don't damn math. You smarter than a fifth grader, but these people ain't devilish. They not evil. But you were sitting somewhere in a whole nother state, a whole nother city. Make it make sense now. Make it make sense to me. You were sitting up here in a whole nother state, a whole nother city. And they wanted to sit up here and tell people to come for you, to stalk you, to antagonize you, to, 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 to disrupt your peace. Knowing you a peaceful person. I'm smarter than a fifth grader. The math ain't mathing. I'm smarter than a fifth grader. These people ain't devilish. They not evil. So why not just leave you alone? Why not just talk about you, but leave your life alone? Leave your destiny. What, what it is, what, what it do? They will never come to your face and tell you that they serve this amount of evil to you, but they wanted to do it behind closed doors. Weak and pathetic. I'm sorry. That's weak and pathetic. If you're going to be a bully, be a bully. If you're going to sit up here and not like somebody, let people know. Be real about it. These people don't know themselves. They're so not here till it's, it's crazy. And it's just crazy how they can all think that coming up against you and blocking you off from something is going to bless their life and ruin yours. Um, But you're still here. So I'm trying to figure it out. I, I'm. I'm smarter than a fifth grader, kings and queens, but the math ain't mathing. They'll say that they're not devilish. They'll say that they don't, that they do like you, that they do love you. Why would they go up against their own child? Why, why would they sit up here and, and spend money to have you blocked off, to have you abused? Why would they put their little coins together to give it to someone? And when they know that this person was going to serve you some kind of evil and some kind of abuse that you didn't deserve. But they'll say that they love you. They'll say that they're not devilish. They'll say that they ain't worried about you. They'll say that you a liar. That you crazy, that you mental, that you're insane. It's really giving the complete opposite that that's who the hell these people are. Because I'm trying to figure out we smarter than a fifth grader. But the math ain't mathing. So it's either you crazy or they crazy.
You evil or they evil. But I'm going to tell you something. You ain't going out here doing what the hell they doing. You would never do that. It's too much what these people did. To just want to see you say like, oh, I was able to see them be homeless. I was able to see them be broke. I I, I, I swapped their destiny. Oh, I made their life hell. And for what? And now you finna pay for that. It ain't even finna be worth what you wanted for someone else. With what you about to go through up in your life. What your kids about to go through. These people just cursed themselves is what they did. I'm telling you something. Why God allowed it to happen for so long. It gets to a point where eventually God sparing people got to get stripped away from them. And, and I'm, I'm going to tell you something. He did it to see how far they was going to keep going with it. If they was going to change. But also allow what people were doing for so long to shape and mold you into the person that you are. I keep saying that. So if he allowed all this spell work and he allowed all these plans and these people to pay these people to come towards your way and all this stuff that you had to go through, but you still here. What you think that mean? Sound like to me, you unbreakable, you unstoppable. Sound like to me, you, you was dealing with some real treacherous folk up in your life that claimed to have loved you played one way to your face was a complete different way behind your back and one thing i'll never be able to understand or fathom is who the hell wants to sit up here and waste their time being fake to people when you could be real and just keep people the hell about your life if you never wanted nothing with them and you didn't like them and they did so much to you heal and move on from it is what you do what you don't do is try to sit up here and comfort somebody who ain't sending for you and then try to lie about it so you don't want people to know how evil you are how thrilled you are up there because it don't make no sense to keep coming for somebody to make their life hell when all you got to do is just move on. Move on and let this person be. Move on and stop. So you got to know that if it didn't happen that way and they didn't have no intentions of stopping, it was because God didn't have no intentions also of you being stopped and blocked. But he had every intention of you learning from every single trial, every single betrayal, everything that these people served to you. And now it's to the point where you are so strong mentally, spiritually and physically and emotionally, baby, that can't nothing break you. Who the hell you think that you need to give all your praise, honor and glory to for making you as strong as you are today? That's God. Capital G, capital D at the end. OK, and that's why Mary had a little lamb fleeces white snow, because some of y'all started on this journey weak as hell, broken, confused, worrying about everything and people. One thing my grandma always told me, my daddy told my mama told me the day you get delivered from people is the day that you truly free. Ask me if I care. Why you think I'm doing what I'm doing? You don't think it's people from my past, from my community, from my neighborhood that's going to sit up here and, and it's reaching people. And I don't have no control on who it reach. Only God do. So you don't think it's going to be people that's going to see this and know me from the past and be like, oh, my God. But the day you get delivered from people, it's the day that you could truly step into what it is that God has for you and truly be where you need to be up in your life and not give two flying ducks. on um, Who got something good to say about it? Who got something bad to say about it? Who don't want to see you do it? Who's sitting up there trying to sit up here and, and, and mess with your views, mess with your channel, mess with your subscribers, don't want you to be successful at it? Because let me tell you something, when God says you're going to have something in your life, you got to believe that he going to keep his word to you. So who you owe the thanks to? The strong man and the strong woman that you are today. You know, look back over your life 10, 15 years ago. You know you wasn't that person. The betrayals and the evil that people served to you and the strength and the resilience and the perseverance that God blessed you to have to overcome it is what made you strong today. Don't pump fake. Oh, you know, everybody up in my family strong. So, you know, what I'm saying it just come along with the territory. No, not this evil that was served to you. You would have been broke somewhere. You would have been somewhere out your, out your mind. People have cracked. They folded. They broke. You didn't. And you went through way worse than some of these people at the hands of family members, of exes, of ex-friends, and you still here. Who you owe that thanks to? Don't play with me. Play with it. Don't play with me. You can lie to yourself all you want to. You can't lie to God. Can't hide the truth forever. But the truth can set you free. 
and free indeed is what he needs you to be. It's so much peace you have when you're free instead of being burdened by holding in lies and secrets and being, you know, two-faced and fake and phony when you ain't got to be. Everybody got free will. Everybody got choices that we can make. You can make good choices. You can make bad choices. But whatever choice you make, just be able to stand 10 toes down on it and stand on business. Don't be fake about it and say, oh, I, well, you know, I always loved you. I always wanted the best for you. But, oh, oh, I saw you being successful to me. And I saw you achieving something to me. And I didn't I ain't want you to have it. No, 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 no. Then don't say that you love me then. Because love don't do that. It's a thin line between love and hate. You best to believe it. Don't sit up here and say I always loved you and I didn't know how to come to grips with my feelings. But you sat up here and put your paws on people. Was sitting up here and abusing people financially, spiritually, emotionally. You didn't care if a person lost their mind, if they lost their kids, if, if they just was out here. Yeah, but you loved the person. But but you but you cared, but you supported them. People been lying, man. They've been lying straight through their teeth. And they done had dumb people believe in the lies. So if they want to be dumb enough to tell them, if people want to be dumb enough to believe it, and if everybody want to be dumb enough to work together, then let them be dumb. Because they're going to be dumb, broke, disgusted, and busted. And somewhere watching you achieve what it is that you need to achieve. Because your destiny can't be stopped, it can't be blocked, and it can't be swapped. Okay? And until next time, y'all stay prayed up and be blessed and understand that if you need a friend, you got it in me. You need love, you got it in me. Inspiration, motivation, life example, you already know you got it in me. I come with that real, never that fake. I keep it 100 with you. I keep it a buck with you. Continue to reach one, teach one, bring others to the JC gang. Until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed out here because it is truly some serious, real evil that's out here in the world that people are sitting up here um, dishing out in people's lives and they don't care. So you have to care enough to understand how to abuse your discernment Use your better, use your judgment. Use that sense that God gave to you. You're smarter than a fifth grader. Start acting like it.